Hey girl, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Faye, and as you can see by the title, today I'm bringing you guys a foundation review. So we're barefaced today because I'm going to be testing out the new House Labs foundation and the setting powder. I actually picked up both from Sephora recently. So I'm gonna be testing those out with you guys today on camera. We're gonna do a little wear test. We're gonna see how it wears on my oily skin, if it holds up, what the vibes are. I haven't watched any reviews on this foundation. I have been tempted to, but I haven't watched any reviews on the foundation because I wanted to have genuine, like a genuine first impression without being swayed by any of the reviews that are out so far so we're gonna test it out we're gonna see how it goes I'm gonna give you guys the tea so if you enjoy this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like the vibe be sure to click subscribe down below and let's go ahead and get into the review all right y'all so first things first we are going to start with priming the skin obviously I'm gonna start off with Oh, actually, first of all, let me zoom y'all in. Okay, that's better. So y'all can actually see what's happening. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with this primer. This is from Milk Makeup. This is the Pore Eclipse Mattifying Primer. And I'm just going to put that all over the skin. I've been enjoying this lately. And I'm basically just going to, um, of course, use all of my regular products. I'm not going to try out anything new today outside of the foundation and the powder because I've done that before and it normally ends up influencing potentially influencing how I feel about the actual foundation so we're going to keep everything else consistent and I'm just going to use the foundation and the powder as the two new products so we got that on next for blurring out my pores I'm going to be using this I've been enjoying this as well this is the Cali Ray um, blurring primer so we're gonna focus this on my pores and down the center of my face and that is gonna be it for primers normally I would go in and do some color correction but I do kind of want to see how well the foundation um, covers on its own so that you guys can also see what the coverage looks like so we're not going to do anything extra there but I am going to set my primers down like I always do I'm going to be using this powder this is from cover FX, the matte setting powder obviously if you don't have oily skin then you can skip this step but I always like to set my primers down just as an extra layer of oil protection. Okay, so we are jumping right in. Like I said, I did pick up both the foundation and the powder. So this is what the box on the foundation looks like. It's kind of like recycled paper, which I'm into. I think it looks really nice. And I also like the packaging on the actual foundation as well. It's a nice glass frosted bottle and it also has a pump. So the foundation comes in 51 different shades. It is a clean at Sephora um, product. And let's see what they say on here. It retails for $45. And it's supposed to be a medium coverage, weightless, clean foundation with fermented arnica that helps reduce redness and protect from environmental stress. The highlights are that it's natural finish, medium coverage, liquid formula, long wearing, hypoallergenic, and then again, like I said, clean at Sephora. So let's go ahead and apply it and see what she's giving. So I got mine in the shade, what shade is this? 415 Medium Deep Cool. So that is the shade. And I did actually let um, the Sephora website match me and then I went in the store to pick it up and I just kind of like held it up to my hand. I was like, okay, it looks good. <laughs> and I just bought it. So hopefully she matches. I'm gonna pump it out on this tray so that you guys can see the consistency. There's the consistency. A little bit runny, but nothing too crazy. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. It looks like it might be a little bit dark. Yeah, it might be a little dark. But we're going to see if we can um, fix that with concealer. But it's definitely leaning a little dark. So 
Maybe I should have pumped a little bit out and tested it before I just walked out of the store. But I was kind of in a rush. I just wanted to like grab it and go. So I didn't actually like pump it out and go through trying to find what I thought would be my exact match. So be careful with the frosted bottles because y'all know the frost on the bottle can sometimes be deceiving. But I don't know. We're going to see. Let me not speak too soon. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit deep and it also is pulling a little bit red on me. I don't know if you guys will be able to see, but as far as like the actual coverage and the formula, I like. I kind of could feel on my skin when I was applying it with that brush. It almost feels, I don't want to say moussey necessarily, but that's the best word I can think to describe the texture um but yeah I mean the coverage is pretty good I know it says on the Sephora website that the coverage is natural finish um but which I definitely see like it's not drying me out or anything like that um which I do have oily skin, but you guys know. Yeah, this is definitely, this is dark. This is dark. So I'm probably going to have to take this back and get the right shade because this one is definitely too dark. But we're going to keep it pushing because I want to review it for you guys. I don't want to wait. Um, and hopefully we can just fix her, like I said, with concealer. Because normally you can make it work if it's too dark. Um, normally if it's too light, that's when you might have an issue. But this is what the skin is looking like. It looks pretty good. It looks really good, actually. So much so that I'm definitely probably tomorrow. Not definitely, probably. <laughs> but yeah, definitely tomorrow going to take this one back to the store and get the right shade. Because I could for sure... Just based off of the initial application, I could see myself wearing this throughout the winter because it's giving skin, but it's also just settling really nicely on the face. And it just looks like healthy, vibrant skin, if that makes sense. So this is what we're looking like. I'm actually not going to add another layer which says a lot about this foundation already because typically I would go in with two layers, but the dark spots, I mean, you can kind of still see this one. This is like my problem spot right now I'm working on <laughs> from picking in my face, but yeah, this one you can still see, but everything else, I feel like it covered pretty well. So I'm not mad at that. So I'm gonna just go ahead and move on to my concealer. And for concealer, I'm gonna be using, I think I'm gonna mix, um, two shades. I'm going to start off with this one from Sephora. This is the Best Skin Ever Concealer in the shade 3, wait, 34.5 in. I have really been enjoying this concealer. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I actually had the opportunity to work with Sephora at Kohl's for an Instagram reel. Um, but I've actually genuinely been enjoying this concealer. I love how full coverage it is and it just blurs out like under my eye. It just makes it look so flawless. So really everywhere that I put it, it just makes the skin look super flawless. And I'm going to put a little bit of this one. This is the Fenty Concealer in the shade 300. It's a little bit lighter. I'm going to put a little bit of that right on the inner corner and then we're going to go ahead and blend it out and see what this powder is hitting for okay so this is the skin after concealer outside of the color just ignore the color i know it's dark and it's leaning very cool toned red so just ignore that but the skin is skinny it's definitely looking really good on the skin okay so next up is the powder and hopefully I did a little bit of a better job with matching for that so the powder comes in five different shades same packaging as the foundation packaging that like recycled 
cardboard, which, like I said, I really like. The powder retails for $38. I think I said it comes in five different shades. So it comes in a translucent and then a natural peach, then honey, no, golden, which is the shade that I got, and then deep honey and cocoa, which are the two deepest shades. Um, let's see. It's supposed to be light coverage, loose powder formula, obviously, cruelty-free, vegan, clean at Sephora, a clean, skincare-infused loose powder that blurs imperfection, smooth skin, and optimizes makeup performance, and five talc-free, soft focus shades. So, let's see what she is hitting for. I did see in the picture just then looking on Sephora that it looks like it has that, like, net situation over the powder, which I'm not usually a fan of, but... We'll see. So this is the packaging. Very cute. I'm very much here for all of the packaging on these products. I just think it looks really nice and clean. So let's go ahead and open her. Okay, so it comes sealed on the inside. So we're just gonna take this off. Okay. And then we have the powder on the inside, like I said, with that um, net packaging. So let's see. Normally with these, I just like put the top back on loosely and then just try to get some of the powder out. Um, that didn't do amazing, but we'll try to make it work. All right, so. Let's go ahead and apply her. I'm just gonna blend out under my eye. Which, if you aren't doing this, make sure before you set under your eye that you blend it out because you don't wanna set any creases in under your eye or wherever else your face creases. For me, also on my forehead. Smile lines, any of those areas. Okay, so we're gonna get some of the powder. And. Okay. The powder might be a keeper. I really hate <laughs> With a passion, this net, like I don't, I don't understand. Like what's the benefit? I mean, y'all let me know down below in the comments of having this net packaging. Like I just don't understand. So, I mean, that's personal preference, but a con for me is the net. Um, I'm just not a fan but I mean the powder it actually looks really good on the skin now I'm not sure if the blurring that I'm seeing is a result of the powder or if it's from like the primers and stuff that I use because both the milk primer and the um Obviously, the Cali Ray are both blurring primers, so that may also have something to do with it, but I'm definitely seeing some blurring happening on the skin, and I feel like with this powder, we may be able to save the foundation shade because I have some other videos that I want to film today, so I'm hoping that maybe with this powder, we can save the shade. So. This is what the skin is looking like up close after the powder. I'm probably going to apply a little bit more, like if I can get some more out of this net to see if I can bake underneath my eyes, but it looks good. I like the color of the powder for sure. I know the foundation shade I need to switch out, um, but I like the powder. I like how it's setting my under eye. It definitely feels very smooth, lightweight for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I'm not gonna be using anything new or different. And normally I would cream contour, but since this foundation shade 
is kind of dark. I don't know. I'm going to see. Everything will be linked for you guys down below in the comments or in the description. And yeah, let's go ahead and finish up the face and then I'll show you guys how it looks once we have all the other products on top. Okay, so before we actually get into the fast forward part of me doing my makeup so I just read on Sephora like how to use the powder because I was like well maybe they have some instruction okay so clearly the issue is that I'm trying to like flip this over and get the powder out what you're supposed to do is just press like either your brush or your sponge into the mesh and it picks up the powder I don't know maybe I'm late to the party or maybe I'm just a little slow I didn't know that that's how these mesh situations work so yeah I've been team no mesh but now I'm kind of here for it now that I actually understand how to use it but anyways yeah just had to share that with y'all real quick let's go ahead and get into the rest of these products Alright y'all, so the face is done. The only thing I didn't show, well, I didn't show my lashes. I'm wearing, I don't have an empty box, but it's these same lashes. The um, Jordan Times Eyler Chop It Like a Tie. I literally always wear these lashes. If you guys have been watching my content, I always wear the same lashes. Love these, very affordable, and I can wear them several times. Um, and then on my lips, I'm wearing the NYX This Is Milky Gloss in the shade Chocolate Shake. So this is what that looks like. No lip liner or anything, just threw on a quick gloss and called it a day. So this is what the skin is looking like up close. And don't mind this inner outer corner situation, my eye is watering. It doesn't want me to be great. That doesn't have anything to do with the foundation or the powder or anything, but this is a close up of the skin. So I was able to kind of make it work. I feel like, you know, we kind of made it work. But it's definitely, I mean, you can tell it's a little dark and it's a little more like cool red toned. So initial first impression, I do really like the foundation. I think it gave really nice coverage. It is definitely giving a skin like finish. For me, my skin looks I mean you guys can kind of see like the glow on my face it f doesn't feel heavy it feels really lightweight on the face but it also feels like it's giving me like a natural radiance which I like while also still giving me coverage because for me personally I'm not one of those glass skin clear skin barely need anything kind of girls we're working on that we're working to get there but for right now I be needing a little bit of coverage. If I'm going to be putting makeup on my face, I want some coverage. So I like that it's giving me a natural finish while still also giving me coverage in the areas that I need it. So I do like that. I like the texture of it or the formula, I guess I should say. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. But so far, I do really like the foundation. Obviously, just need to switch out the shade. The powder, I like the powder itself. I did feel like it gave me like some blurring underneath my eyes, especially like in this area of my pores where I actually placed the powder I do feel like it gave me a little bit of a blur I like how it looks under my eyes it's not looking cakey or dry the only thing though I'm on the fence about the mesh I kind of got excited for a second when I was pressing my sponge into it and it seemed like it was giving me more product but I think I'm just a loose powder girl I don't know 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So I like the actual formula of the powder, but I'm not sure if I like the packaging. So yeah, I'm not sure where we sit on that. I'm pro I'll probably definitely still keep the powder, but I may end up just cutting the mesh out because yeah, I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna keep trying that out and seeing where we land on the mesh. But the powder itself, I do like. Um, and yeah, the rest of my products laid really nicely on top of the foundation. So I guess we'll just see how it wears throughout the rest of the day. So I did get a little bit of a late start today. So it is currently 4:51. As you can see but technically I've had this on my face pretty much since 430 so we're gonna say 430 as our start time I'm gonna try to wear this as long as I can to get a decent wear test like what I would typically um, or how long I would typically wear a foundation on my face and I will check back in with you guys later on today so that you can see how it's holding up so again like I said this is how we're looking and I'll be back in a few hours to give you guys an update. Hey y'all, so we are back. It is about seven hours later. It is currently 11.06, as you can see. And it's been, yeah, like a little under seven hours. We started around like four, and now it's 11.06. This is how the face is looking. I have tried my best to not blot my face. I did not blot my face because I wanted you guys to see the natural oils that have come through on the skin. So just to give you a close up, you can see I'm definitely very oily in this area, oily in my T-zone, but the product has not, and don't mind, I told you guys earlier, my eye is watering, so don't mind this situation or like in my inner corner. If you see anything there, it's because my eye has been watering all day. And I didn't bring you guys along vlog style today because I literally didn't do anything after I finished filming earlier. We just went and got some Chipotle, watched a movie, and that's it. So nothing to see here. But yes, this is the face. Definitely a little oily, looking very much radiant, very much oily in my opinion. This isn't radiance, this is oil. Um, but the foundation, the product is not breaking up or anything like that on my skin. So what I'm gonna do is, I think, are y'all zoomed in? Okay, I zoomed you guys in a little bit more. Drop down a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is blot my face. You guys know the drill, if you've been um around for previous foundation reviews you guys know how we do around here it's been a minute but y'all know y'all know how we roll so i'm gonna go ahead and take my little kleenex tissue and we're gonna blot the skin okay do the other side and do my forehead okay so this is how we're looking after blotting the skin I mean she's looking pretty good I'm just saying like the skin is still looking smooth underneath my eyes and for the most part it still looks pretty good I'm gonna blot over here let me move this back Okay, I'm also gonna blot over here. But yeah, I feel like my skin is looking very radiant. Like after I blotted off the oil, it's looking like healthy glow. I don't know if you guys, like if the camera is picking, up, picking it up, but I feel like my skin is giving healthy glow. So I'm also gonna set it a little bit. You guys already know, Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm gonna set it as if like say I just got off a seven hour shift at work and I'm about to go do a little happy hour with the girls and I want to touch up my makeup real quick. So I'm just going to go over everything just to see. Okay. And girl, we got a whole... We got a whole fresh face ready to go for another couple hours. Like it really, it really looks good. Like I'm not, I'm really not mad at it. And the shade, I feel like I was able to make it work, like I said, with my concealer. But I've already got her backed up. I'm going to take it back to Sephora tomorrow and get the correct shade because 
I honestly, I haven't done a foundation review in a hot minute and I'm really glad that I came back with this one because I thoroughly enjoyed the foundation. I really like the powder also, but like I said, I'm probably going to cut the net out of the powder so I can just like dip straight into it. I just don't think I'm team loose powder with a net. <laughs> so y'all let me know down below in the comments if you like translucent powders that have that net over the top. I just don't think it's my vibe, but I do really like the powder. So I think I'm just going to get a little exacto knife, cut the net out of the powder so that I can have access to it without having to go through that little mesh material. Um, but I'm I'm impressed. I mean, you guys let me know what you think. You guys see you guys see the material? Okay. You guys see the face up close? Up close. So you guys let me know what you think down below. Are you gonna pick up this foundation or are you gonna pass on it? Have you tried it? What's tea? Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. I really enjoyed filming it for you guys. I miss doing foundation reviews, so leave me some suggestions down below of other foundations that you guys want me to test and try out for you guys. I did pick up the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm, which I have been using. I know that came out a while ago Ago, so I'm not sure if you guys still would want to see a video on that but just let me know down below anything new or old that you want to see me do a wear test on that you're on the fence about um, feel free to give me some video suggestions down below in the comments but yeah I'm not gonna ramble on too much more I just wanted to pop back in give you guys my final check-in because I'm very tired and very much ready to wash this face off but I held out just for y'all. I wanted to stretch it as long as I could, but I'm ready to go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up like I said if you did. If you have not already and you made it to the end of the video, you might as well go ahead and subscribe and join the fam. Check out some of my previous videos if you enjoyed this one. And I'll see you very soon in my next one.